Hello everyone! I assume you read the thumbnail description or the, the title of this video and you're thinking to yourself, but wait, didn't he just release a video like two or three weeks ago on updating the Tango 2 firmware? And you're right, I did. But since then, TBS has released a new firmware update for both Crossfire and the Tango 2, and it's sufficiently different or possibly difficult to upgrade that I thought it was worth the time to make a video while I'm upgrading my own Tango 2 to the latest firmware. Okay, so TBS was kind enough to post a very nice little infographic, if you will, over here on their Facebook page, which tries to guide you through all the steps you need to do to upgrade your Tango 2. So let's start at the top with the firmware upgrade process. Well, we need to check the versions of our software. Make sure you have TBS Agent X version 2033, which I do. And then actually we're in the process of getting the Tango to Crossfire firmware updated to 4.0 and the Freedom TX firmware upgraded version 1.2.1. And we need the SD card contents version 1.2. So step number one. SD card content version 1.2, we need to back up our current SD card content. So I've never done this before. So I'm going to go look at the manual that TBS has, which you can find the manual on the Team Black Sheep, uh, the page for the Tango 2. If you scroll down near the bottom here, there's more information and you can click on the Tango 2 manual. And within the manual, if you scroll down, there's a section on updating SD card content. You can ignore this actual link for the card content that's, at least currently in this manual, an old version. Maybe they'll update that. So the first step I see here is I want to power on my Tango 2, which I'm doing now. Welcome to Tango 2. Okay. And then I'm going to plug in a USB-C cable into my computer. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says USB storage on the screen of the Tango 2 and select that. Okay, so once I've plugged this radio into my computer and it recognizes it, you can see here that I have uh, a couple of new drives showing up on it. The one called Tango 2 and the one called No Name. And at least on my Mac, I have to uh, navigate to the volumes folder to get certain drives. They don't automatically show up here for some reason. So anyway, if you don't see that, that's maybe something you have to do as well to go find this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab everything just because it's not all that much. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go to a new finder window here and make a folder where I'm going to store backups of this stuff. So I'm not showing it on the screen, but I'm making a new folder called Tango 2 Backups. And then actually I'm going to make a new folder in there for today. It's date 2020 0825. And then I'm pasting everything from that SD card over. Okay, well that took a little while to copy all those files off that SD card, but now we've got that step completed. So let's go back and take a look here, uh, actually. So at this point we need to go to TBS's website and download the SD card contents for the latest version, which, let's see, if we take a look at this again, we need the SD card content version 1.2. So on Team Black Sheep's website here, we can see the SD card contents download for Freedom TX 1.2x. So that's the one we want to download. Let's save that file to my downloads folder. And once that is downloaded, I'm going to extract the zip file. All right, so what I'm trying to show is that I need to copy now from that zip file I extracted everything over onto uh, the SD card that's in the Tango 2. At least that's what the image says I need to do. And that's what the, if I go back to the manual, copy the complete content 
into the SD card of the Tango 2 and override the existing files. What's the TBS important notice.txt? Make sure you back up these files before copying SD card contents. Back up the Crossfire, Radio, and Modules. All right. I backed up everything just to be sure. I'm going to grab all of this. And drag it and drop it over here. And I'm going to say for everything I want to replace. And that's going to take a few minutes to copy everything over. All right. Well, that of course took a really long time to copy everything from one SD card to the other. <laughs> I was tempted to stop it and do the whole thing over again by taking the back off the radio and taking the SD card out and putting it in a reader instead. But I didn't. I just waited forever for it to finish. All right. So let's close those and take a look at this. And I think that's everything you need to do to update the SD card content. Make sure to kindly eject those SD card or the Tango 2 from the computer. All right. That, oh, no. Eject, eject. Just reconnects automatically. Wow, that's silly. Guess I'll just have to unplug it. And then it'll complain that the disk was not ejected properly. And hopefully that's okay. Okay, so I've backed up my card contents. I've updated it, hopefully, to version 1.2. And oh, it wants me to restore the backed up files to the SD card. So what I wasn't paying attention to here was where it says SD card content backup. Those are the three things or four things there that you have to make sure you back up. And that means those are the four things you need to restore back to your Tango 2's SD card. And once you do that and you boot it up, as you can see, it will no longer ask you to calibrate or do anything like that. It'll be all set. It'll have your right model. Everything will be back to the way it was. And we need to figure out, okay, so what is the next step we need to take? All right, where's my web browser? There we go. So I've restored the files. Now we need to update Freedom TX to version 1.21. Uh, and what it doesn't say here is that, so what they assume is, you know, you need to go start up Agent X, which hopefully you've already downloaded and have on your computer. And it'll detect that I've got a Tango 2 oh, connected to my computer, which I don't, but I will once I plug it in again. Let's go back to this USB agent. And then, let's see, I should probably show. Okay, so here is Agent X. And as you can see, it has detected my TBS Tango 2 and the Crossfire module. And the next step is to update Freedom TX to the latest version. So the first thing you want to do in here is make sure you've got Include Beta Firmware selected so that otherwise you won't see these new new uh, new versions. But I have that selected, so let's go manage the TBS Tango 2 and click on firmware. You can see I'm currently on version 1.16 and there's version 1.21 available. Let's check out those release notes. Warning, this update requires Crossfire version 4.0 or newer, which, yep, and 4.0 or newer of Crossfire requires this version of Freedom TX. Once loaded, it will start the Crossfire bootloader immediately. Load Crossfire version 4.0 or newer. Once the bootloader is detected inside Agent X, this update also requires an SD card content update, which we've already done. For more details, see the TBS Tango 2 product page. They've added critical battery, battery level shutdown. They have added support for external modules for the Tango 2 version 2 PCB, which I have, but I don't have an external module or not planning on getting one anytime soon. They've improved the memory management library. They've added an option to reverse rotary direction. So the scrolly wheel on the bottom right side, apparently a lot of people think it, it goes the wrong direction when you go up. Instead of going up the menu, it should go down or something. I don't know. I like it the way it is. I agree with Trappy. It's fine how it is. <laughs> but for the people who want it the other way, they can do that. They have merged OpenTX237 changes. I don't know what all those are, but we could probably go look those up if people wanted to. Uh, added 
tools menu available once the SD card content is updated. They've added a resume RF when quitting joystick mode. Oh, okay, so when you disconnect it from your computer, you can turn the RF back on again, the radio. They have removed the Wi-Fi driver. They use the Crossfire Wi-Fi driver instead, okay. They fixed a warning pop-up screen and they fixed bug fixes and internal restructuring. Well, hopefully they're good bug fixes. All right, so I wanna click update. Get this update going. And the next thing I need to do is click update here at the bottom. And you can see on the camera, if I can find it, hide agent X, you can see that uh, the screen just shows that it's being updated. Okay, it's rebooting the radio. Please update Crossfire. All right, so the sort of looks like it's stuck here and it, it stopped and it's not doing anything but if you look at the screen on the radio it says please update crossfire so what do we need to do i guess we need to update crossfire because this update needs the newer version of crossfire all right so let's go back and now i don't see the tango 2 radio but i do see the tbs crossfire so let's manage that go into the firmware let's up well check out the release notes so if you're curious, here's all the Crossfire updates. I don't think there's anything I'm really that interested in. Um, it doesn't actually give the Tango 2 any new features that I'm aware of. It, there might be some future version which can add more power output to the Tango 2, or there's a new Tango 2 3 motherboard that could give some more power. But anyway, all good stuff, right? So let's click Update and then click update again. Now it is updating Crossfire. And it rebooted, don't touch anything, just let it sit here, let it do its thing. Hmm, I thought this was the part where Trappy said they messed up on their live stream and they were just supposed to let it go. But I think I was supposed to click update. There it goes. And it's rebooting again. I think you're not supposed to change anything in the menus. Just let it be. Updating subsystems. There we go. And now we wait. All right, almost done. Nope, just kidding. Let's start over. <laughs> All right, 100% done. I think we are done. Let's uh, go back and take a look at my devices. It says my Tango 2 is firmware version 121. So it says I'm on the current version. Perfect. And let's go take a look at Tango 2, or the, the Crossfire module that's built in. Firmware says I'm on version 4.0, so the most recent version. All right, there you have it. That's what you need to do to upgrade your Tango 2 to the latest Crossfire and latest Freedom TX software. Some part of the process of how I copy my SD card contents over caused me to have to recalibrate my sticks like nothing moved at the end when I was done. So I went through the calibration process again, no big deal. Now everything's all set and I'm good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you get your Tango 2 updated to the latest firmware and uh, good luck.